we're back and uh, I'm uh, going to go around and show you what we've done and uh, yeah let's take a look here we have the XS650 which bought out to 750 I've mentioned that before we got some new nice uh, McCunis on it and we've been building most on this bike also on the RD350 air cool but as you can see this build is uh, coming along take it from the front of the back to the rear and uh, go through what we've done and everything here we have uh, four uh, LS uh, uh, drum brake from Jim Lumas in the Czech Republic I think they are buying them from Italy so uh, we've uh, modified it so it's fitting between uh, the forks on the XS650 not a big job some few some spacers over there I don't know if you can see it there we have them we've made uh, these to hold the, the shields we've also uh, custom made uh, this uh, brake uh, cable and on same on the on the other side and i think these shields uh, look amazing originally they uh, came uh, polished up but we've uh, blasted them because uh, the theme we've uh, chosen with this bike is metal different uh, shades of uh, metal Aluminum and uh, it's like the exhaust, which is were chrome, and uh, we've uh, steel ball bl blasted them so they get this uh, satin uh, look. And uh, we've uh, made a front fender, or we bought the front fender, but we made the brackets. Uh, we went with the same design as on the SR500 which you've seen before uh, yeah if we move to the fork legs also blasted and uh, move upwards these brackets we're not happy with they look too big we're gonna make our own the headlamp is going to be blasted as well and uh, if we go here we went with some retro uh, levers for the clutch and for the brake we've uh, custom made the, the clutch cable we've uh, made this uh, bracket for the chronologic uh, classic uh, motoscope from Motogadget and uh, the bottle triple clamp is going to be sanded down and blasted. Don't know about this triple clamp, the upper one yet, what we finish. And as I said, we got uh, Chrono Classic. We went with uh, Moto Gadget uh, blaze discs, turn signals with the basic switch. Same on the other side. The roller is from uh, Jim Lumas, Czech Republic. It's a TZ750 replica. Really love this. We've got them on some other builds too. Over here we have the brake lever with a uh, brake uh, cable coming down and down to, to here and then splits into two. And we've uh, custom made the throttle cables. And moving backwards, we have the ignition coils. We've got, I don't know if you can see it, this. This is the switch for the brake light. And uh, we didn't want anything up at the handlebar, so we hid them. We've made uh, this trap attraction with the uh, wire that. Uh, pulls with the brake so we got one for the uh, front brake and on the other side we got one for the for the rear brake as well 
Uh, nice to get it tucked in under the fuel tank. Under here we get the horn and uh, these plints is distributed uh, with the plus and negative. We got the uh, MO uh, M unit, uh, blue, the ignition box and everything runs in this. These isolated uh, tubes. Here we have with machine on the lathe to put uh, the light in, which goes in here like this and going to be molded in. Over this side we got the reg rack and uh, it's a uh, wape, so it puts out DC directly. And uh, as I said, with the exhaust, these were chrome. Uh, likewise with the exhaust, but with, uh, I think, with uh, steel, small steel balls blasted them. And uh, they turn out really well. And uh, as you can see on the engine, we have different shades of aluminum and uh, Blasted uh, chrome parts and all stainless bolts on the whole bike. I think uh, this will uh, look really good with the color on the tank and on the, the hump at the rear. I will show you later. Here you can see that we've done as we did on the SR500. We put the uh, gear lever and everything on the right hand side so my dad can ride it of course and uh, we made some uh, nice linkage it, very easy put some uh, plates which the foot pegs are mounted on and uh, this triangle is for the obviously the mounts for the silencer we uh, went with the YSS uh, shock absorbers at the rear and the swing arm we think we're gonna leave polished don't know yet we'll see when everything comes together and uh, the same as front we've uh, blasted the rear hub they turn out really nice and uh, under here we can see how everything looks bit dusty when we grind it away on the on the seat here we have the starter solenoid not mounted yet we got the main fuse and a gravity battery over here surprise I I'm amazed with their batteries it's uncanny so so really good we've uh, made this back plate with this this works as a stop for the for the saddle to stop uh, moving backwards we made the uh, late these and made this for keeping the battery in place and this is going to get a pinion that's go going up and clicks into this it's a quick release and i think it looks really good uh, machine aluminum and uh, looks really nice and uh, the electrics are going through here and up. We've uh, got a negative here and the positive. This is for the starter solenoid. And these are for the scope. And as you know, I really do love uh, motor gadget stuff, so it's a lot of motor gadgets on this bike and uh, yeah now uh, let's uh, see this let me know what you think about this color on the fuel tank i think it looks it's, it's looks really good let me just uh, put it back on the bike and uh, you will see so here you have the fuel tank in place and uh, 
Oh, I forgot the Yamaha logo. It's going to go right here, somewhere. And uh, yeah, clean, very clean. Only this emblem here and the back camp is going to be painted in the same color as the fuel tank with a light brown uh, leather on the seat and uh, I will post a picture where I got the inspiration from and uh, I think this bike is going to look so good when it's done it's not we could start it up right now but we we want to make everything ready before the startup and then we're going to Take the bike out for a spin, run it through and see that everything works and so on. And after that we've uh, uh, dis disassembled it, everything, put the uh, frame to the, to the blasters and uh, paint it and put everything back together. The frame, by the way, is going to be a very dark grey, bluish grey. So it really breaks off the, the light uh, aluminum uh, color, colors from the engine and everything with the lighter blue fuel tank and yeah I think it's going to look really good. And uh, on the picture you saw there there's a thunder cloud and with a field with weeds or what it is and that uh, was the inspiration for the color theme on, on this bike. And I think it's going to turn out really good. We are waiting for some new grips, which is going to match up with the, with the seat. We're also trying to find some uh, ignition cables to the spark plugs, which matches up uh, with the sa same light uh, brown. If you know uh, anything, please uh, leave a comment below. I've searched a bit, but I can't find the exact one I want, so I'd be happy for some tips. And the cable that's running down here, it's the Speedo. It's going to follow the brake cable up. So this is it for this episode. It's a quick episode and uh, I just wanted to get you back up to speed. And. Uh, We'll make an episode about this bike as well. It's a RD350 from 74. Uh, cool, as you can see. But uh, my dad is building it as a replica. TR3 Yamaha race bike. We got the same uh, four shoot uh, drum brake and uh, replica drum brake for the rear as well. And this bike is going to be so freaking cool and we'll see if he uh, if he's going to put a complete uh, fairing and uh, same here I'm going to put a picture up on the, on the old race bike and you will see and otherwise in the garage it's a bit messy a lot going on We've got the old BSA this one is for the moment going to go down in the basement because we got a BMW R100 RT coming in got some big plans for that bike over here I don't know if you've uh, seen it before it's another one SR500 don't know what to do with that yet either probably go down in the basement as well we got uh, the two-stroke ripper uh, got some fueling issues. Need to reroute the the fuel lines on that one. And uh, when I got the time and the inspiration, I will strip this bike down again and redo it because it's a lot I didn't like about it. Here we have the Star 500. Runs really good and it's a lot of fun on dirt roads and we got the BMW uh, R75 with a fender on it we got the flat tracker with the Honda 450 
dirt bike engine and uh, yeah so uh, I'm going to be posting a bit more now I have got the feeling back to do some more YouTube and uh, I hope you guys are going to like it and uh, please leave a comment below like subscribe uh, if you uh, follow me on Instagram you will have seen some pictures from uh, from the build so if you don't follow me follow and uh, I will see you in the next episode bye